There may be times when you don't want to use a mouse or a trackpad to move the cursor on your screen. You can actually use the keys on the keyboard to move the cursor on the screen. Here's how. Go to the Apple menu and choose System Preferences. From System Preferences, choose Universal Access down here on the System line. Universal Access gives you options for all kinds of things on your computer, but come here to the Mouse and Trackpad tab, and in here you have a couple of interesting choices. One is to press the Option key five times to turn mouse keys on or off. That means that you can turn this feature on or off from the keyboard. I'm going to turn mouse keys on by checking the radio button here. Now I'm going to actually make the initial delay quite short for the purposes of this video and to make sure that the maximum speed is very fast. Now that I've turned on the mouse keys in the system preferences, I'm actually going to put my mouse down and from here I'm actually going to just use the keys on my keyboard to move the cursor on the screen. I'm on a laptop so I'm going to hold down the function key to make sure that this works. If you have a full size keyboard with a separate number pad, you can use that number pad, that's that section on the right hand side of the keyboard, to do the same thing. So on my laptop I'm going to hold down the function key and now if I press the number 7 across the top of the keyboard, the mouse will go up and to the left in a diagonal direction. Press L and it'll go the other way down and to the right. J takes it down and to the left and 9 takes it diagonally up to the right. U moves it directly left, O moves it directly right. 8 moves it directly up and K moves it directly down. I'm going to go up to the left so I'll use 7 and I'm going to use U to go horizontally left and K to go directly down and now here I am on the show all button. I can actually click that button by pressing the letter I. And there we go. Another thing you can do is actually hold the mouse cursor down by pressing the M key. And now you can see I've taken my hands off the keyboard altogether that the show all button remains depressed. I'll hold down the function key again on my laptop keyboard and press the full stop to release that mouse button. This provides some really interesting options. In my written tip at MacTips.info, you can see a list of which keys do what. Have a go with mouse keys. See what you think of it. If you find it useful, let us know in the comments.